Attention all you rule breakers, you misfits and troublemakers, all you free spirits and pioneers, all you visionaries and nonconformists. Everything the establishment has told you is wrong with you is actually what's right with you. You see things others don't. You are hardwired to change the world. Unlike nine out of ten people, your mind is irrepressible, and this threatens authority. You were born to be a revolutionary. You can't stand rules because in your heart you know there's a better way. You have strengths dangerous to the establishment, and it wants them eliminated. So your whole life you've been told your strengths were weaknesses. Now I'm telling you otherwise. Your impulsivity is a gift. Impulses are your key to the miraculous. Your distractibility is an artifact of your inspired creativity. Your mood swings reflect the natural pulse of life. They give you unstoppable energy when you're high, deep soulful insight when you're low. And diagnosed with a disorder, that society's latest way to deny its own illness by pointing the finger at you. Your addictive personality is just a symptom of your vast, underused capacity for heroic creative expression and spiritual connection. Your utter lack of repression, your wide-eyed idealism, your unmitigated open mind. Didn't anyone ever tell you? These are the traits shared by the greatest pioneers and visionaries, innovators, revolutionaries, procrastinators, and drama queens. Activists on the social scene, space cadets, and mavericks, philosophers, and derelicts, business suits, flying fighter jets, football stars, and sex addicts, celebrities with ADD, alcoholics who seek novelty, first responders, prophets and saints, mystics, and change agents. We substrate of the cosmos. It guides the very current of time and space. The way is known by some as the will of God, divine providence, the Holy Spirit, the implicate order, the Tao, reverse entropy, life force, but for now, we'll simply call it the way. The way is reflected in you as the source of your inspiration, the source of your passions, your wisdom, your enthusiasm, your intuition, your spiritual fire, love. The way takes the chaos out of the universe and breathes life into it, giving it divine order. The way, when expressed by the mind, is genius. When perceived through the eyes, is beauty. When felt through the senses, is grace. When allowed into the heart, is love. sense the way directly, but then there are the wayseers, the keepers of the flame. Wayseers have an unexplainable knack for just knowing the way. They sense it in their very being. They can't tell you why or how they arrived at the right answer. They just know it in their core. They can't show their work, so don't ask. Their minds simply resonate with the way. When the way is present, so are they. While others are blind to it, and society begs you to ignore it, the way stirs you inside. Neurological repression blocks most people's awareness of the way. Censoring all thoughts and impulses from the unconscious is their prefrontal cortex, the Gestapo of the brain. Nothing which violates its socialized programming even gets through. But your mind is different. Your mind has been cracked wide open to the way. 
by some miraculous genetic trait, some psychotropic chemical, or maybe even by the will of your own soul, your brain's reward pathways have been hijacked, dopamine employed to overthrow the fascist dictatorship of your prefrontal cortex. Now your brain is free of repression, your mind free of censorship, your awareness exposed to the turbulent seas of the unconscious. Through this open doorway, divine light shines into your consciousness, showing you the way. This is what makes you a wayseer. 90% of human civilization is populated with those whose brains are blocked to the way. Their brains are hardwired to enforce the social programming indoctrinated since birth. Unlike you, they cannot break out of this programming, because they have not yet experienced the necessary revolution of mind. These program people take social institutions and rules very seriously. Society is full of games programmed to keep people's minds occupied so they will not revolt. These games often cause sick fixations on peculiar protocols, power structures, taboos, and domination. All subtle forms of human bondage. This distinct form of madness is not only tolerated by the masses, but insisted upon. The program ones believe in rules so forcefully, they become willing to destroy anyone who violates them. Wayseers are the ones who call their bluff. Since wayseer minds are free to reject social programming, wayseers readily see these social institutions for what they are, imaginary games. Wayseers comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. Helping those who are lost in these games and refuse to help themselves is the calling of many wayseers. Since wayseers are the ones who keep contact with the original source of reality, they are able to disrupt societal conventions and even governments to realign humanity with the way. The wayseers are an ancient lineage, a kind of priesthood, carriers of the flame, ones in the know. There must always be wayseers to reform the dizzying, psychotic, spinning wheels of society. Giant, mindless hamster wheels obscuring the pure blue sky. Welcome home.